Thank you. It's a great honor to be here. And uh, when I say uh, good afternoon, my own time is to say good evening. <laughs> we have a five hour quick evening in local time here. This is my first time to visit your country. It's a beautiful country and beautiful city. And in very uh, deep in your That's my uh, powerful culture of this country. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The topic of today, I should say, the University of Tomorrow. I think in China, our university have maybe a difference with here. And it may be different with uh, university in Europe and the United States. I think the three uh, 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 key words I should mention is the education resource and the sharing and academic and change a lot. Because globalization, e economic meaning, and the information, revolutions, and other things. Another thing is the issue of universities on the regional and the global scale. And the third one will be diversifies of university functions. Yeah. The university tomorrow in uh, China is meaning the three uh, things we are con concerned about. The first one uh, is uh, protecting our home earth. The uh, second one is uh, the serve the more uh, addressing the social age and the people's issues. And the third one, the social more the sh shattering the responsibility on the inter-region exchange and corporations. Let me quickly go through of this. University of the tomorrow will be serve the most of protecting our uh, uh, home earth is one uh, uh, issue uh, like uh, China university rethinking a lot. You, you this much, a Japanese uh, tsunami and on the seas earthquake and uh, maybe a, a, a Fukushima nuclear power station have a lot of problem. Japan's location in China is very, very close. And uh, uh, where economic development model is quite copied like uh, Japan and Korea. So we well establish or build a lot of nuclear power station, supply of uh, electricity power. But in Japan's uh, uh, situation is a light university leader and uh, professor think a lot. Uh, if we do this the same way, and or maybe we can change it in another way. <coughs> Our university is uh, many years ago is already uh, established many uh, courses called the Green Campus, and uh, students have to select uh, one or two uh, classes on green technology and green protection of our home earth. And uh, university should be uh, uh, change the mind and the e e evolution in the society to rethinking our economic developing model. Maybe not like Japan, maybe we, we can find uh, some new uh, technology to serve our the electricity power. And another one is, I should mention, is uh, our population. Our population always have very, very big issues. I just mentioned our children have uh, 320 million children in, in China. But you know, our uh, aged people, we have 100 million to 150 million aged people. So now university have two burdens. One is we try to enroll more children come to university. Right now, we only 25% uh, children can go to university or colleges. Another sh shorter, such a the great body of the old people try to re come to university to study. They try to study new technologies, new cultures, and even see, try to uh, uh, make their uh, retired life more colorful. Maybe they really like to uh, uh, study the music, painting, dancing, opera, everything. Yeah, he have money, he have time, and he, 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 he have a bunch of time. So a university is now have to open the classes for elderly people, and we cannot charge a higher. We, we are teacher younger than our students, and then we should be very patient to teach them. This is very, very difficult. Mm. Another thing is, uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, for aged people, is, uh, in China have such a population, a government have the law for a family plan. Each family, each couple, only one child. So aged people need child living together. 
but the young people have to work, they have to earn their own business, they're always uh, living separately. So elder people come back to university, they were facing the young generation, they will feel their life is beautiful. Another one is university tomorrow should serve the more the shorter responsibility for inter-regional change and cooperation. We are the China in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, of our East, and uh, uh, where Chinese is very difficult to study. So we encourage our students to study more foreign languages. Yeah. Our universities offer uh, 19 or 20 foreign languages uh, for, univers uh, for students. One of the Hebrew language department, my colleagues Wang Yu, yeah, Wang, Wang Yu is here. Could you stand up and shake your hand? <laughs> okay. yeah. He got a bachelor degree in Hebrew language in my department, my, our university, and a master's degree in Tel Aviv, and a PhD degree in Hebrew University. Now he came back to teach. And then we have another 18 foreign languages. I'm uh, older. When I came back to university, I was already 24 years old. And uh, uh, that year, I beginning to study English from ABC. So I, my, my English is so slowly compared to my native speakers. So, uh, uh, but we have to study foreign languages. We encourage our professors, our, our colleagues, our students speak uh, Hebrew, Japanese, Korean, English, German, French, every language. Yeah. Some languages are very narrow but uh, we still encourage uh, students to study. And this, this way to easy to cooperation, to understand other cultures, other histories, other the economic and political issues. Yeah. And also we try to ask other people to understand us. Yeah. We are not animal, we are human beings too. So uh, 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 some foreign media maybe uh, uh, treat uh, China's uh, situation is not like yours, but if you came to China, we are thinking we are quite, quite similar. Yeah. Inter-regional exchange and cooperation is very important. Like your, uh, your poor students' uh, resource much higher than Chinese students' uh, poor uh, capital. Yeah. Because your population is smaller, your, your GDP is higher for capital. So you are uh, maybe compare with the United States and the French and the England, their uh, young children go to university higher than uh, 70 or percent or 80 percent such a huge edu high education resource is maybe Western in your country. Maybe we cooperate together with uh, China and India. You can help us to treat more young children, very smart children, and go to uh, university and study. And uh, another thing is our university is, uh, is uh, uh, 38,000 students. We have 3,000 faculties. We have uh, five big uh, uh, the department, uh, what do you call the group? Um, medical research, humidity, and then the natural science, and uh, engineering, and uh, uh, social science. Our university. used to treat the old Chinese uh, 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 method or concept of training our children. Uh, uh, but now it's a change in Qing Dynasty. Right now, we are come to uh, overseas and uh, try to learn from you. It's my first time come to this forum. It's a very, very good opportunity to learn from you. Thank you. My time is up. <laughs>